Hello. <laughs> Uh, it's Friday. It's uh, the Friday after the Electronic 3, E3, Electronic Entertainment Expo. It's over. Will, you were there. You're yep. back. Uh, we're going to talk about it here He's on Facebook.com and Twitch, for Geek.com, like we do. Um, we're going to get into that. I'm Jordan Miner. I'm Alice Newcomb Beale. And I'm Will Greenwald and Half Dead. Oh, poor baby. Mm. I'm, I'm, you know, th thanks for Stephen coming in. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for being, yes, for being the lone soul at E3 this year. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, a few takeaways from the show before we start. Uh, Los Angeles sucks. East Coast is the Beast Coast. And, um, Word. no, that's the main thing. Come at me, West Coasters. LA is okay. fun to be in for like a week. It's a fun vacation yeah. spot. It's very fascinating yeah. to be like in this human safari of people with no souls. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, it, it's so real. Yeah. Like, jeez. Yeah, would not want to live there. Yeah. The epitome of great place to visit, would not want to live there. That's someone like, I do still love Little Tokyo. Someone said that, um, that New York, that... L.A. is a shitty heaven, and New York is a fun hell. Yeah, so I will. I will, that. I will take would fun rather hell. would yeah. would rather take fun hell. <laughs> and speaking of hell, uh, the game we're going to be playing while talking about E3 is uh, the infectious madness of Doctor Decker. Wow, uh, full motion video sort of adventure game um, that we has more of that. It's a bit like yeah. her story. It's a bit about like interviewing people, like real footage of people. This is the guys who did Late Shift. It, it is, but it's got a sort of horror, Lovecraftian, hellish. Cosmic evil bent to it, where Late Shift was just a sort of crime drama. Right. Now uh, I have to ask: Is it going to be like? Is it actually super serious? Am I meant to take this seriously, or is it just the fact that it's FMV make it schlocky? I, th you know, I think that's a bit um, subjective. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I, like, right. I like, I am incapable of taking FMV seriously. Sure. At all, I mean, how did you feel about her story when you played it? Her because story, that's yeah, very. That's true. That's, that's true. a very. This is definitely, this is definitely not. Her story I can take seriously. It's not it's as good. poignant. Yes. It's not yeah. as point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let, let's I mean, it. enough talk. Let's yeah. let's get into it. Let's, like the much more let's cut into this crap cake. The much more limited view of her story means there's like less wiggle room for things to be goofy and laughable. And her story, it used the FMV like to, like you were looking like at video footage. It yeah. was very thematic. Yeah. It, it was like thematically nitro. appropriate, whereas this, it's like, it's yeah. using it in lieu of graphics. Right. So uh, um, let's see who we, who we're going to talk Claire, to. Claire. Bryce, Claire. I hate him already. Um, oh, God, get him out. No. Is that like no. Clarence Allen Tudyk? I don't know. I hate all these people. God. Good. Also, Mary? is this like a doctor's office? Because otherwise yes. you have no excuse for having Rorschach tests on the wall. No, yeah, yeah. You're, you're playing as a therapist, talking to these people okay. about... Also, if you're a therapist, you shouldn't have those on the wall. Those, that's, 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 that's so No, bad. come on, man. <laughs> um, yeah, you're talking to these patients. You're trying to figure out what happened. They also seem to be all linked through this Dr. Decker character. Okay. I don't, I've purposely not played a whole lot because I feel like it's, you know the mystery of what's going on is A, very Lovecraftian, and will be just more fun to watch. So. All right. So, so uh, definitely make with? sure to pipe in with your comments. We've got social feed on the ones and the twos. Questions about this? We're just questions about E3, about yeah. what we saw, questions what we saw. Questions about FMV games yeah. in general. I saw the uh -huh. RE2 uh, remake. It's how I got the shirt, the cool. RPD. Cool. So um, let's just, who, who are we going to go? Let's just go with Bryce. I want right. to ask sure. about that camera. Watch you play this. And I'm going to talk to Will about his favorite stuff yeah. at E3. All right, so you saw... RE2. I did. You saw a lot of Nintendo stuff. Saw, uh, not Split. I saw uh, Smash Brothers. I saw Let's Go Pokemon. Pikachu. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, Mega Man 11. Okay. Um, I saw at Sega's booth. Um, uh, Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise, which is okay. pretty rad. And you you explained it to me earlier. This Fist of the North Star game is basically I'm like the b whoa. Must must you <laughs> okay. So this Fist of the North Star game is basically like Yakuza, but with like Far Cry Blood Dragon slant to it. Kind of, yeah, of just take the it core mechanics the of this thing, Sarah. Yakuza, and go nuts. Okay, because so just take it to, the, it, so just take Yakuza, which is already at 11, and then turn the knob all the way around back to zero. Well, it's, it's weirdly at 11, but it's also at like a three because of how it like low-key plays a lot of stuff. But sure. Fist of the North Star is just everything's nuts all the time. Okay. It's cool. rad. I can get on board with that. But mechanically, it's straight up, it is Yakuza. Okay. And if you like that, it's great. Did they, uh, did with the Pokemon game, did they have the controller yeah. available to the use? The Pokeball Plus. How dumb is it? It's actually not, it's kind of dumb, but the little button on it is an analog stick, so you can actually control 
So like you actually can just move your character around in the game, and there's like a hidden B button so you can cancel. So like you can just play the whole okay, game. Okay, so is Pokemon. this just as dumb or dumber than the Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller for the game? I'm back in this conversation now. This Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller. Well, I was ta I was talking to Will about the the Pokeball yeah, controller, I, right? You overheard. You yeah. were there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but the ball is less dumb, but it's also way more limited. Because like with the the Resident Evil Chainsaw, you could play other games with it because they're there. With mm -hmm. this, is just you got two buttons and an analog stick. We may okay. have written about that controller. I don't know if, if it did. went up or not. It was one of our famous Geek.com polls of. Oh English, great! So that post may exist. Yeah, excellent. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, pretty. Uh, it's, it's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. It, it, it Pokemon? <laughs> cool. Uh, you don't have wild uh, Pokemon battles, but you do run into Pokemon in the wild, and you can catch them. It's like Pokemon Go in that specific mode. And when you catch them, you get experience for your Pokemon. And then you have like regular trainer battles, so it's still like 80, 90 percent Pokemon, just like Pokemon okay. Yellow. And then like 10 percent of the wild Pokemon, you're just gonna catch them. Okay. That's it. Catch them like C A T C H apostrophe E M. Yeah. Catch them. Cool. Catch them all. Cool. Yes. So the way this works, you're aiming these people trying to figure out what's going on with Dr. Decker, mm -hmm. and you can ask them like specific questions, like whoa, but, yeah. But they're not gonna, they're not. There's not so much footage that they're gonna have an answer to most of that, them. It, this so. reminds me of the um, of the text box in the original Fallout. Like you could yeah. ask, mm -hmm. you could ask characters pointed questions just by typing in text, but yeah. it was very, it's limited. it was very, yeah. yeah. It's like a text and, adventure. No, I'm sorry, my responses are limited. You have to ask the right questions. Right, sort so, of so let's ask Bryce what he thought about E3. Oh, okay. Can... I have no knowledge of that. Oh, gross. <laughs> right. I hate him, I great hate his turn. face. So like, to make real progress, you should use the, the que they're giving you prompts for questions. Mm -hmm. so. Why were you depressed? Yeah. yeah. I think being a grave digger had its perks, but it could be very <laughs> stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. What the? What does I'm that even mean, Bryce? I'm not depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. This is a very spoopy game. Okay. So spoopy. Yeah. So let's try asking a question that I think he may have an answer for as to like who Is this a stealth phantasmagoria three? You know, maybe. It could be. It could be. Who is a puzzle Dr. Of switch? Decker? Yeah. Dr. Decker. They should put the Phantasmagoria games and like the seventh guest on the Switch. I mean they're putting Grim Fandango on Switch. Yeah, they are. Well <laughs> Not to say those things are the same. But. Dakar. Dakar. I don't know if I spelled that right. Get in Dakar. I don't have anything for you. Oh, see maybe I spelled Decker wrong. I think you did. Yeah. This is petulant ass. <laughs> oh my god. He's a grave digger. Come on. Uh it's a, so all grave diggers are just petulant now, Jordan. Come I would, on, I man. would love to know what grave digger stereotypes are. Can, um, How did I spell before? That, e or an that's a? been a long running idea of mine. Is just have people that do actual jobs come in and play games that are about their job. Oh yeah, that'd be have so good. Have a, so PSA, good. <laughs> have a TSA agent play Papers, Please. Yeah. Have a train conductor play The Last Express. Mm -hmm. uh, have a great have a grave digger play Grim Fandango. That'd be so good. That's yeah. some real good journalism. Yeah, yeah. great jur hard hitting journalism even. That doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, Stop. So maybe the text your input face. isn't that flexible. Right, right. and that's what we're seeing the options, the hint timer, yep. is the hint is how often before it just gives you some more questions to ask. Okay. So just like just let so it tell the little, you. What uh, what's the skull icons? That's, um, yeah. yeah, so he, with the, the D-pad, I can then bring oh, up okay. these other questions. So. What extra, oh, okay, these are just prompts based on his previous responses. Yeah. How is it hard to find someone who can use a shovel? Question, we'll ask that after that. <laughs> So do you have to manually enter questions? Can you just use the suggested ones for these. the entire time? You can okay. and should just use these the entire time. But the fact that it does have the little text thing, I think is conceptually neat. It's yeah. Cool. And you know that like they must have yeah. hidden three or four just really stupid little vignettes of you just like putting yeah. the right code. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. always fun. Yeah, yeah. Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. I'm would, made of tea and chips. I would love oh, to. No. I would love to read like a B to B for grave diggers. Oh like, wow! Yeah. Jeez. 
Um, it's so, like, oh, it's wow. like Uber, but for grave diggers. <laughs> Uber for grave, Uber for grave <laughs> diggers. I love it. Yeah. So yeah, Wait, he, why, so why are those asterisks? So these are questions I've already asked, and um, the asterisks represent things that you haven't gotten the whole story out of. Like, these are prompts to return oh, back Oh, so this is like the game, the game part of this game here. It's yeah. perks, but it can be so there's like a flashback, hence ah. the sepia tone. Huh. There's a train yes, I see. I like using a sepia tone for something that was 30 seconds running out of space. We're running out of competent grave. Remember when that happened? Literally five seconds ago? Huh? Yeah. Mega Man 11 tried. Right. I tried that so how, is, So is that more Not of like I the Mega Man Legacy hour. stuff? Like, no. Oh, it's hey, straight it's up like, a sequel. It's straight up a sequel. Yep. 3D, so basically uh, what Mighty Number no. 9 should have been. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And it basically looks and feels like what Mighty Number no. 9 should have looked and felt like. All right. Did you use uh, the, the double gear system? Yeah. Okay. What is What is What is, what is the, what is One the, of the double gear system? You have the bumpers. The left bumper uses a gear energy to power up your shot like further than the regular charge shot and the right bumper slows time using gear energy. A mega mega buster? Pretty much, yeah. Wow. So like you can the, your regular charged mega buster uh, it doesn't get through like met hats or like armor, but you can charge it up with the gear and you can just like blast through armor. Nice. All right. Okay. I, oh, and, well, like, that's actually really smart from yeah. a design perspective. And slowing time is like, you know, limited energy, you can't do it a whole lot, but you can all you can use it to get through some like pretty hard things like that. like moving lasers. All of those nice. Like I'm sure Mega Man purists will hate that, but then again, don't have to use it, and there's probably uh, a way to turn that stuff. And off. I feel like uh, reception yeah. I've seen from people, other like people, have they they don't it, they don't yeah. care. Yeah. They're pretty much just happy seeing a new Mega yeah, Man. Yeah, they, they have ten other traditional Mega Man. Yeah, I would, hope, Mega Man I would hope so because yeah. they can be kind of whiny about that thing, you mm. know. That I mean, I remember I Mega see... Man Eight gave you a soccer ball. What? Yeah, yeah. the Mega Ball. Yeah, you just put a ball down and kick it into things. Those, sure, why yeah. not? Yeah, his Mega Man soccer phase was really uh, something yeah. back in those days. Amazing. Um, uh, and uh, Rush is just linked to the Y button. So, like, if you want to use Rush coil, so just like, hit Thank that you. button and I, jump. Yes, that's, it still uses that's a weapon great energy, change. But it's like really handy. That's a really good change. You don't need to go into the menu system anymore. Great. Yep. Ooh. Let's see what's up with uh, Mariana here. Sure. Who, who? Hello. What murder? Hello. Period. Hello. Mm -hmm. Ha. Okay. I'm Ironically, Mariana. these are also my are opening okay? uh, messages on OkCupid, okay so... <laughs> it was Dr. Decker? That's, hey, that used yeah. to be one of mine. I mean, I, I went with, uh, do you need anything from Whole Foods <laughs> for a while. <laughs> do you know so, And now oh. I'm just... So now I've, I've got to come up with some new material, and this is, yes, I'm feeling okay. How yeah. about you? Have you tried... HB, HBU. <laughs> <laughs> a S yes, I'm feeling okay. A S L. Um, How about well, you? Things about the that's murder? why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. Okay, so Dr. Decker was the previous therapist. I did not. Oh. I did not. We've uncovered that piece of the puzzle. Okay, then. I get the feeling that like each of these actors is you got a lot of mutations. Not patients, quite. Huh? Don't worry. Trying for the same job. Yeah. Oh, they don't know what they're in. You yes. Think <laughs> yeah. I think I, I think you're absolutely right on that. Will. Yeah. They're all they they're all trying out for a role in, for a similar role, but in very different movies. Nice. Phrasing. Capture taken. <laughs> nice. Unsettling. <laughs> you let him do it. Oh no! All right, I am intensely process. uncomfortable. It's so on the nose. Wait, so can you... Okay, so, so go back to your, your skull menu here, because I don't sure. know what else to call it. Okay, so you have X. That gives you the prompts to enter questions. Yeah. The, is that a notebook? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, so this is, yeah, this is giving you kind of, like, things, sort of general topics to sort of pursue. Oh, right. I wonder why she's here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, notebook. It's just, yeah, it's telling what the asterisks mean. Uh-huh. All right. idea. Sure. And these are questions I've already asked. Gotcha. So it is about just asking the questions and piecing together the story. Like, yeah, yeah like like her story kind of sure. was. So. All right. Yeah. Uh, why are you here? I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? The police keep picking me up. Oh, poor the girl. Public nudity. Um, oh, come sure. On. Marianne, I, I, come I, on. I got a question for her. What have we... Let's talk about Smash. <laughs> Let's talk about Smith. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. yes. <laughs> Jordan, you are my hero. <laughs> Jordan, you no, are my not hero. Not all heroes wear capes. Not all heroes wear capes, Jordan. But we gotta phrase this in the form of a question, so. Am, Am I, I right? <laughs> I love it. 
So I played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That was the right. <laughs> Cut away. Well, well, let's just see. Let's just see what this does. Hold on. I right. mean, I, let, let's find out if this actually prompts anything. I'm confused. Which bit should I answer first? She's confused by the comma. The okay. comma. <laughs> the Smashing Brothers. I love. How was it? It smashed. Like it's, it. But look at all of them. They're all in There's it. a whole lot in there, and I gotta say, I'm not a Smash or fighting game purist enough that I can like pick up all the different subtleties and tweaks and changes, but it's mm. seemed pretty cool. Ridley plays cool, Inkling plays cool, uh, and there's gonna be just a ton of characters. Snake's mm. back, so we're all excited about that. So you're not, so you weren't so much into following the 15 minutes of like hyper detailed smash like mechanics minutiae they went into? Like, it was like my mind. Minutes. I loved, I mean, I'm just very invested they're in all just, that they're stuff. They're going on a tirade about how yeah. much the meta, or how the meta is changing because this is how into this game people are. And this is how like, they are really like, Throwing a bone to like the competitive side of it, like yeah. a lot of the changes are very much like the, only people who care about competition sm- or who care about smashes like an esport will even appreciate this. Yeah, but yeah. they are. But like, there's even that still that undercurrent of please, we're trying melee players. Stop, put your game cubes down. Yes, stop. <laughs> please, any melee players watching this, it's over. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> please. Yeah, the fact that you need a controller that's half busted to do whatever your stupid little techniques are, it's like stop playing this game, play the new one, play but, a different please. one. Please. Question. I hope it's from Mango. So the understanding is that there are like two more Smash characters that they're going to reveal. Is that the rumor? Uh, well, I mean, one is not saying it. Waluigi. It's not. He's an assist trophy. Yep. He's an assist. Yeah. You can kind of like summon other characters to help you out. Wow. Yeah, you're not the only one bust. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably waiting for like a, a direct reveal Crash Bandicoot. Oh, I really hope God. not. Uh, the, the secret character is Nathan Drake. I mean, the, the big, the biggest, most credible rumor I've heard for a character yet to be revealed is Simon Belmont. Sure, uh, right, but like I'd, we were I'd also expecting that. like yeah. a compilation of like classic games people cared about from Konami, and instead we got this like hyper sport thing that yeah, whatever. yeah, this was um, a thing. But people, but people, I'm I'm very deep to a fault into the Nintendo rumor blogosphere, <laughs> and people, oh, God. and people, but people who are right about. Snake and a lot of the stuff about this were also right. saying Simon Belmont. So I go and people, I'd, people who are right about po- that. people who are right about Pokemon Let's Go were also saying that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta say Trevor's cooler and Alucard's cooler than both. What about Richter? Richter could Richter. Richter's up Richter there with Trevor. Belmont. Okay. Yes. Um, How about like uh, Trevor? But it's like Pokemon Trainer where you can have like Sypha and Alucard and Grant like just summon. That'd be pretty good. And that would tie in with Grant their Dynasty. <laughs> That would uh, dovetail with their Netflix show really well too. Yeah. Is, oh yeah. Is a Which is pretty good. Make. Yeah, Netflix. Yeah. yeah Netflix when Warren Ellis writes a show. cartoon, it is a hardcore cartoon. Wow. So, so as, as um, I don't mean as, you know what's you know what's coming. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, as a as an advocate for one PlayStation All Stars. Yes. What about it? Do you like that you don't like about Smash? Is it the selection of characters? <sighs> is it the mechanics? All right. Yeah. Um, I'm just, mostly, I'm, I'm just honestly mostly, curious. Mostly, okay. Mm-hmm. It, a lot of it has to do with the uh, the roster. Okay. Uh, that that was a big thing. It's like I feel like a lot of the curb appeal for uh, Super Smash Brothers has to do with, oh, these are all Nintendo characters that you know for doing something else, but mm-hmm. now they're all beating the living shit out of each other. Right. You know, but now like. But I didn't really grow up with okay. Nintendo, that's, that's, yeah, that's totally so yeah, yeah. it's like I really didn't care about uh, care about these guys at all. Yeah, I knew them from you know uh, like a passing sort of appeal, sure. but it's like I had a deeper connection with like these characters that they inserted into PlayStation All Stars. Like I okay. knew I knew Kratos, I knew what he was supposed to do, I knew you know Colonel Raddick beyond knew, beyond just, being Killzone man. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's like I am that I am that person. Like yeah, I, sure, I, like, I am you, the you like you and tens of millions of other people. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I, yeah I like, respect that, and it's totally like <laughs> it's totally valid, but it still feels like. The Smash roster didn't resonate me as some Galaxy Brain level <laughs> take for most. Yeah, I know yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. I know it is. Yeah. Like, there's, yeah, I know that the gameplay for a lot of people is very busted, and yeah, sure, I'll I'll secede that that point. But I still enjoy it a lot. It's really dumb fun. Yep. Uh, I like it a lot. I played it a lot on my Vita, mm. which is a whole other talking point in itself. Uh, but. Yeah, I like. I've always liked uh, All Stars a lot more than I've enjoyed uh, Smash Brothers, and I've had people try to sherpa me on the 
competitive aspects of Smash Brothers. Like, right. no, I, listen, I also you very do much... this, 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 and this. It, right. And I'm if sitting there with, like, all the patience in the world, and I'm still just like, you know what, dude? You do you. That's, I'm not going to... If, if you totally have fair. any friends who try hard to convince you on the merits of competitive Smash play, you need different friends. Oh. Because, <laughs> like... Sorry, Dave. Because, like, I'll, I'll admit... <laughs> Because I mean, a big part of the appeal for me is, is the cast. I do love Nintendo right. stuff. But yeah. also, like, I do actually, honestly, really enjoy the fighting mechanics. Like, I, yeah, I, I play with that item. Those are rock solid. There's a reason people love Smash. And, yeah, I get mm. that that's a thing. But, yeah, the big... Because you, you essentially win in relatively the same way with regard, regardless of what character you have, right? It's about... Yeah, yeah, knocking, knock off the stage. Yeah, knock yeah. off the stage. Yeah, yeah that, that's the big kicker with All-Stars is that, you know, if you spam whatever you're your knockout move is, which are completely different for basically every right. character, like, that that's how you win the game, and some of them are ridiculously overpowered. Yeah. I do appreciate that they, their stages were, like, a crossover between certain franchises. That's, oh, yeah. That's a cool thing that Smash should rip off. Yeah. yeah, oh, hey, Loco Roco, and, like, halfway through this, it's gonna turn into Devil May Cry. Yeah, that's awesome. Or yeah. Metal Gear Solid, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, question. Someone has a question for your patient here. They want to know. Oh, oh, well, uh, let's ask. Like, oh, yes. that's we should, yeah. Have any, if you have any questions, we'll just type them up. If you have any happens. questions sure. for, yeah. for us or for Mariana, please. Yeah, or Bryce. Does she like big dog shirts? Yes. <laughs> okay. God, God yeah. to your tweet here. You can tell it's summer when this is what we're doing. Yes. Uh, don't worry, we'll be back with a, 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 a more substantial game next week. So, did yep. you? So, you didn't get to do any of the tri uh, like th those are AAA titles, but those weren't what I w what I was personally following from uh, E3 news this year. Like, I was most excited about uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Didn't get a chance to see that. Yeah, uh, I did play Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Did you play uh, the Battle Royale mode? Uh, no. Okay. It was just like. Yeah, that. Up, yeah, like, you think that's ready yet? You think that'll oh, even yeah, be ready, quote true. unquote, ready at launch? That is true. Because, yeah, point capture point. mission, yeah. and it was it was Call of Duty Black Ops. It's like okay, yeah, we've seen this. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, I thought she said no. Nope. <laughs> nope. I nope. don't. I don't nope. like them. Nope. nope. <laughs> she goes. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Nathan. All right, let's see. let's cut into Nathan. Yeah, let's see if there's a boy. I can let's get cut in. into Nathan's brain pan here. Boy, I can get into. Here's a boy. Doctor Decker is a complex man. I spent a lot of time Nathan, with him, Nathan, my it. man, we got to talk about your facial hair, dude. That's, uh, we got to clean up that, we got to clean choice. up that. Okay, let's ask, what's up with that facial hair? Yes, please. It looks like a British version of Peanut Butter Gamer. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm just going to sh shave his face in his sleep. Oh, my God. But, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the big stuff that was shown there is, like, Blops 4, which I guess a lot of people are yeah. excited about. because it's, it's a kind huge of, game. It's a huge, yeah, I mean, COD is a huge franchise, and it's a little bit of a return to form for them, yeah. but not really. Um, and they're instituting PUBG, and it's not going to have a single-player mode. That's the stupid Which is thing. a big thing. I don't know. Because the whole point of, like, the the, the COD Blops subseries specifically was, like, these are cool single-player yeah. stories. It's like, this yeah, is interesting. We yeah, talk a lot about our appreciation of Blops 2 specifically a whole lot. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's the last Call of Duty I played. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, for me, that was, a, that was a bit of a peak in terms of, like, yeah. single-player stuff. Like, when we got there, I was hoping that they would... Continue in that direction sorry, sorry. with the uh, uh, with how they were treating the campaign. Yeah. It's like this weird, like multi-tiered thing. Not just like these like, like uh, interconnected vignettes. lore, and not just coming up with yeah the stuff. inter the interconnected lore, the wild like Illuminati like yeah the numbers connect, Mason. the numbers Mason <laughs> yeah and how like Victor Reznov is he real is he yeah not real? yeah going back to like the, the, the Treyarch verse of Call yeah. of Duty yeah I love that stuff yeah. that was really really fun Question. and yeah. Have you ever had one of your specific questions that you've asked in this game actually successfully answered? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like very generic stuff, like who are you, like what do you do, sort of like stuff, like yeah, like, like like text adventure stuff. It feels yeah. very much yeah. like enter the keyword type. Yeah, thing. sure. Totally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's just see it's what. Um, but yeah, but those characters I do believe are going to be in the Battle Royale mode in some way. <gasps> oh but, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the thing. It's like <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever. If yeah. they're yeah, I mean, that's cool. Like, oh, hey, you're going to have Mason, Reznov, all these other people that yeah. are in there who were, you know, as far as Call of Duty goes, probably the most fleshed out of any character that they right. put in there. Yeah. Uh, but, 
yeah, if it's in a battle royale mode, who really cares? Yeah. I don't know. What's wrong with you? Montages you get in movies. Time passes. You wake up. Shave. Oh, there we go. Ah, get, thanks. Shower, Thank you for dressed, clearing that up, Nathan. Point. Big move. Big over move. And over. <laughs> Real. Nothing changes. Oh my God. But what you're Am saying I about the keywords. That's what her story did so well is that you could just look up by keyword and just add, like just see all videos related mm -hmm. to that keyword. Yes. So that was a smart bit of design. Yes. Apart from yes, using FMV as I'm stuck like between I mean, this design day choice as opposed to Most just like anyway. part of like the technical aspect, I guess. Right. Uh, what's up? This seems very moody, but you said that there's like some Lovecraft implications. Doctor Deck is murderous. Stuff. And yeah, I think we're gonna see that. I mean, Lovecraft, Lovecraft is very famous for being like a slow burn, so it wouldn't surprise me if like, you, you know, in like the last 30 yeah, minutes, like, oh, it was a squid monster no the whole time. Oh, like, hey, so. well, that like, was Washington. something, <laughs> yeah. that, that was something that I actually really liked about her story, was that I came to, I always, every time I felt like I had come to the correct conclusion, mm -hmm. there was like a different, full, uh, there was like a different wrinkle in that yeah. entire story that unfolded itself, and then I began to doubt my yeah, answers. Yeah, all, like, all like the, the more the twin I played shit it, in that game is so good. Yeah, yeah, like blowing my mind. Like, wow, I had no idea this was going to get this deep. I thought yeah. this was going to be like, oh, okay, it's pretty straightforward, like murder mystery, something yeah, like that. But yeah. there was a whole lot more to it, you know. And they don't even necessarily tell you if you've come to the correct conclusion. Right, it's all about your not. own satisfaction. Yeah, and that's so good. You can stop playing great. the game at any at yeah. any given time. You know, it's really, really good in that. Fortunately, he, uh, Sam Barlow, is working on his next game. He said will be like a follow up to that stuff. Good, so great. I like that. Yeah. I, I like that stuff. That's kind of how I felt about the um, what was it? Uh, a game that did that similarly. <coughs> this is a bit of a throwback, but the uh, Blade Runner game that was de that was developed by Westwood back in the day. Oh, it was yeah. an adventure. It was a point and click adventure. Will but you, it, you know about that? Will I'm f kind of familiar okay. with it. But it was very much like. Okay, so yeah, the whole idea of Blade Runner, like, you know, who's a replicant, who isn't. Mm -hmm. It's like, you could legitimately accuse everybody you met of being a replicant, and because you're a Blade Runner, this person with, like, authority you, you to them. do what, you can put nice. all these people in jail, and you are legitimately, like, testing them, giving them, like, the tortoise in the desert test right. sort of thing, but you can lie about the results and just <laughs> legit put people in jail. And, like, the, the ambiguity wow. there is totally in, like, the spirit of Blade Runner. Too. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. very much so. Just give somebody a, a, an aluminum unicorn and be like, did you yep. dream, you dream <laughs> about this? Hey, hey, <laughs> Hey, so does this look familiar? Yeah. This origami? You like origami? You know, yeah. With that and like Detroit having just come oh, out. Oh no! Like, I'm, no! I'm, I'm just totally imagining like a cyberpunk papers, please. Sure. That would not surprise me sure. if just, that just yeah, shows up. Yeah, you know up. what? I would. Yeah. I would. I would play that game. That I'm might just show play. up in Cyberpunk as like yeah. a little mini game or something. Love it. Yeah. Love it already. I mean, there's so much that I've that I've heard about Cyberpunk that just continues to get me yeah. more and more excited about that. And I feel like that was a lot of people's, like, besides that and Bioware's Anthem thing, yep. uh, I think that was a lot of people's, like, primary takeaway from, uh, from uh, E3, like the big showings there. Um, because we haven't heard anything, heard or seen anything about Cyberpunk in, like, five years, and then they show up with this, like... Th this freaking sizzling trailer that just it's had more me, time, but it looks good. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that because uh, legitimately, like a third of the way into that trailer, I had to pause it just to like, like get a grip, you know, because mm -hmm. I was I was like, wow, this is everything that I want, like all all the aesthetics and stuff, and yeah. made by the people that did The Witcher. Yeah, like that's all I've wanted is like okay cyberpunk but the uh, or witcher but cyberpunk like that's right. totally my aesthetic I could get into that question why are people so hyped about Anthem now like what at E3 Ooh, did they good see good question that it control, good, you know what, what I heard is that people like how it plays that the shooting feels good and that the yeah. jetpack Iron Man suit business plays well that well, I hope looks it does. yeah so. like it's uh, it appears that like in this now realm of shared space shooters that we're seeing, like with the division and with uh, um, Fallout seventy six, De yeah, with Destiny yeah, and yeah. now Fallout seventy six, which we'll get to. Would you call Fallout? I mean, yeah, sorry, finish your, finish it's your, okay. Yeah. Uh, but like Anthem is appearing at least on a surface level to give us a little more, a little more freedom in terms of like how how the game is approached. It definitely feels or looks 
a lot more open than these other games are that leave you essentially, you know, boots on the ground sort of thing to quote a certain Call of Duty. Yeah. But um, do you feel that Fallout fits in that genre? I feel like that seems more. It could. More, okay. It could. Yeah. Ooh, the way light. they're frame the way they're framing it seems actually really really fun. Uh, it's interesting. I'm yeah. curious about how it's gonna like work out. Um, yeah, it's, mechanically and also just because this is 20 years after the war and this is West Virginia, isn't that like right next to the place that would have been nuked the absolute hardest? Like, I mean, I feel like with the Capital Wasteland. You can't like. scrutinize Fall or I think that harshly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. um, yeah, I mean they've they've rewritten some of it, but they're pretty they're pretty good at keeping keeping tight to that stuff. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. It's like. Yeah, it, Fallout 76 is essentially a prequel in that regard, and I think it does work as like this shared space shooter. Like, yep. I was I was constantly thinking like, oh yeah, what if I could play Fallout but like cooperatively? But there's also this weird kind of like rogue element mechanic because they've shown how you can like but, legit activate nukes yeah. and bomb yeah. the crap out of other people. Right, because it, it has the whole settlement building stuff in Fallout 4. Yeah, and, so yeah. in a way, there's like this weird mutually assured like cooperation thing yeah. or just dis- a mutually assured cooperation or destruction based on how crappy people want to be to each but other it's interesting mechanically but it's also such a huge departure from fallout 3 of like on one spectrum on one end of the spectrum you have like setting off this one bomb is the kind of most uh, interesting moral choice you can make in the whole game. And right. the other end is like, nuke your friends, it's fun. Uh, Heather Alexandra Kotaku had a good article about that, yep. about that exact dilemma. Oh? Um, so. Uh, oh, how they... About what? the shift in how Fallout sort of portrays nuclear weapons. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. It's like, yeah, now it's like a lot more like comical, I guess. It's yeah. supposed to be kind of like, quote unquote, funny, whereas like yeah. it was always... Like, there was always, like, kind of this tongue-in-cheek sort of thing. Right, this sort of, like, parody. Like, how, even just the sort of Pip-Boy, sort of cheery propaganda art used to be, like, a sat, like, a dark kind of satire, and now it's just, like, here's just what the brand is. It shouldn't be a pure mascot. Yeah, Yeah, it's wrong, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's maybe a little too on the nose, you know, given current events, I guess, maybe... Like, I don't know, that's its whole other thing. It should just, um, it should just have that cutscene from Metal Gear 5 where everyone gave up all their nukes. <laughs> um, a really good take that me and Will Greenwald had earlier was just, like, based on The Division 2, another game that you got to play, a game that you actually got to sit he's, down with yeah. at, Divis- at uh, Ubisoft, right? And how, like, how, our constant, you know, bicker, or not bickering, but our constant take on The Division is just, like, how timid it is yeah. with its political takes. And that's just Ubisoft in general. Ubisoft. How they, how they, yeah, how they can always use this platform to, you know, speak volumes about, like, current political climates and things like that. But they, dis- but they very, very purposefully keep that at, like, a couple of arm's lengths away. Yep. And all of their games are legitimately just... Uh, wish fulfillment about having a badge and a gun. Yeah, like yeah. that's basically all it is. But or going just like, back to like the hot vague, re- vague rebellion, but not actually making any message with it. Like yeah. Watchdogs. Yeah, so I think, <laughs> a, oh, I think uh, a, a good counter example though is they did confirm in Assassin's Creed Odyssey you can have all the same sex ancient Greece yep. same sex you want and I that's love great. that yeah. people Fun came out. out of the woodwork to get angry about that <laughs> yeah. stuff too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey. Made with a multicultural team yep. with diverse backgrounds. It's ancient Greece. That's what and they were doing. Yeah. Good lord, yeah. people. Like the, con- the concept of hetero and he- homosexuality weren't things yeah. in ancient Greece. You yeah. can get 69,000 points for having yes. hot gay sex yes. in ancient Greece Very in that good. game. I can oh. talk about that now. It was killing me not being able to talk about that for like two <laughs> yeah. weeks. Yeah. God. Can I tell you yeah. what I want to see though in Far Cry Six? Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Like this was yeah. Because this you was can follow, off you the can follow the gameplay loop of like the last three Far Cry games because that is a strong loop. It's fun, but just imagine you're going around liberating children from ICE detention centers. Oh no! Yes. Yes. Oh no! Yes. 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 Just make it a Call Except of War as game. It should be, but also it's like wow, <laughs> the idea of Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. But also, so let's be good. real. The idea of going around liberating yeah. children who are being held by this government group that are just, their only thing is just keeping them from their parents seems a little bit cartoony yeah. and unrealistic. Yeah. Like, it would be more a Blood Dragon game than a straight Far Cry yeah. game. Yeah, because that's kind of the concept of 
of uh, Division Two, isn't it? It's kind like of? oh hey, like like you know rogue agents battling like quote unquote like kind of like ultra patriots or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Patriots. I don't know what else to yeah, call no, them, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so dumb. Like they, I don't know. But yeah, I could totally see that. Like yeah. get another government organization that decides to uphold its you know its quote-unquote ideals after there's no government to like keep it in check you know it's yeah. kind of like the uh have the last kind of like the enclave from fallout you know it's right. the last right. year and a half just has the last year and a half just been a, a ubisoft work like viral marketing is this for a their trailer for game? real life oh no uh let's oh, check no. in on ellen our last patient here we, sure. we don't know anything about oh my gosh i'm 25 and i'm nice oh good for you ellen hi it's dating shows oh What's with how you spell your name? It's uh, Britain. Mm. Sure. Who's Terry? Yeah. What? I've got a note that Terry. Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. Oh, that kind of nurse. Huh. Oh. Okay. Jaya XX. Sorry for writing in your notes. Oh, so maybe, okay. So this note, these notes are from some. Okay. Huh. This would be a lot better if those notes I weren't know, just in type, I, whether they were Kinda, like yeah. small. Most of them like if it was like the notebook from L.A. Noire. That's immediately yeah. really yeah, what yeah, I thought yeah. of. Or worse. Dr. Decker was different. Also, completely absent. Had a lot of time Rockstar. That's, that's oh, normal for them. Wow. It's, it's normal, but like, oh, wow. they've had booths in the past. They've at least like teased and stuff. Oh, they didn't even have the booth that they did? I did not that's see the booth. A, oh, okay. That's, that's, pretty had a booth. that's pretty remarkable. Yeah. Yeah, that's if we, they had a booth where we just hung out and just like I mean, they, you know, 2K I think had stuff, but like there was yeah. not a rock star Sam, Sam Fisher snuck in there and assassinated all of them. He snuck in there without announcing a new game, game. goddammit. Yep. No, that's, that's the yeah. thing. How would you announce a stealth game? By being stealthy, dude. That's true. Like, come on. If you're going to talk about a Splinter Cell game you aren't gonna show it i guess i really wanted to see that though i would that love to see so that oh would have been that, 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 so, that sounds like such a rockstar or sony europe like marketing thing of like okay to announce and promote this game we're gonna have someone break into journalists houses and leave notes i mean that's only like two <laughs> steps removed from sony's like oh how you so you went to that they're weird like they're different they're like the church and the, the little yeah there's like the they're the, weird the, carnival we, and four games we it was announced kinda weird we announced Mafia 3's expansion by burning crosses on our front lawn. Oh, but they, they when Mafia 3 was coming out, they had like a like a like a big jazz band walking around the convention center. It was awesome. Oh, but that's actually okay. Yeah, that was yeah. really fun. I can I can get on board with yeah. that. That's fine. I wonder if I saw the video of that. That's actually pretty dope. It was really um, good. But yeah, the Sony press conference. What an all... unfor what an unfortunate turn of events that game was. Yeah. Which one? Mafia 3. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, it's just like it could have been better. Oh, than yeah, it was. as a game, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like sure. the thematic elements in there are yeah, fantastic. It's, it's the only game. Yeah. It's, it's the fact that it's a game about racism that's not like a thousand percent embarrassing. It's you, like such uh, an yeah. achievement. Uh, yeah, in fact, uh, Geek.com uh, yeah, journalist game, game uh, of the year. Jordan Miner wrote about that in a yeah. pretty interesting piece. So I would urge anyone here to check it out. Game of the year, Mafia Three. Game we of the should year, have played Detroit three. today. <sighs> I mean, if you have, I would have played. I would have played. I would have played Detroit, being the. Gave David Cage defendant that I usually am. Uh, that's that's too spicy for <laughs> a little today. too spicy for yeah. today. But yeah, the PlayStation press conference, uh, they took us into this sort of like hangar space that they dressed up to look like a like a church set up for a dance, like kind of like a like just a folksy. Like it reminded me of like a bar mitzvah reception. <laughs> And it was like no I, one had, I, you're, yes. <laughs> no one had any like idea okay. what it was gonna be, but there's like this probably Last of Us Two, and it's like okay that they showed the Last of Us Two trailer, and it's like oh where the trailer is taking place is this barn church thing that we had no reference before they played the video. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then after they showed it, they took us to another theater to show the rest of the game, so it felt completely pointless. That's <laughs> that is that yeah that's a real that's kind of antithetical to what they were trying to accomplish. I feel. But were the games good? Did you play? Yeah, them? Looks, you play? I didn't uh, get much hands on with them, but. Last of Us 2, like you saw the video, looks good. Spider-Man looks strong. We have I a hands-on for Spider-Man. Tony really liked it. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, saw Tony there. Tony Blanco, a geek writer. Uh, yeah, he was definitely there. Yeah. I'm excited about more Last of Us, even though, you know, Neil Druckmann is kind of kind of waffly in my mm. in, in yeah. Mor yeah. morally speaking in my in my honest opinion yeah but no, I, um, I'd agree. The, yeah he's he's a bit of a creep um but the the game itself seems to be shaping up pretty nicely even mm. though it for the most part looks like a lot more of the same 
Yeah. Like it looks yeah. like more Last of Us. If I'm, which if is I'm what not, people want. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, yeah so, which honestly yeah. I'm okay with. You know, the the game itself was pretty like the best change that they made to that game to like make it better was moving it from PlayStation 3 to 4. Yeah. Right. Not just yeah. in terms of like the frame rate and the graphics but like the controller as well because mm. they, it, a lot of the uh, mappings they did for the DualShock 3 were not very uh, Oh, interesting. They were they didn't okay. feel like super conducive. Um I still played the game on PlayStation 3 and 4 mm. but uh like the DualShock 4 is just, I mean, a better controller in right. general, in my yeah. opinion. Yep. Another game that's angering the worst people with its same sex relationship stuff, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't. I, well, I mean, is it in tier of like misogynistic yes. BS? Uh, Do you have to ask? It's a video game commentary. I know, yeah, yeah. but it's like uh, in tiers of like how, how angry they're going to get. Is it Odyssey? Um, it's Odyssey, Last of Us 2, and Battlefield 5. Oh, yeah. Because I feel yeah. like that yeah. is still really... That yeah. one's... I've been hearing a lot more backlash about that, but maybe it's just because of the EA of, of EA's response to that, basically, yeah. like, get the hell over also it. Also, the Battlefield 5 subreddit's response is, yeah. like, you can't talk about this anymore. Like, it's done. It's a video Stop. game. Stop. It's a video game. Yeah. And chill out. Also, that's a good way to, be, to loop back around to the best off thing and just the announcing uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood and then just straight up saying, like, yeah, that's going to be our message for the show. <laughs> one, one female protagonist, how do you feel about two of them? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. And one is just there to punch Nazis. Like, let's yes. be on the nose. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, but but he, that's here's had a really awesome showing this year, yeah. I think. A really awesome and diverse showing. Uh, Rage 2 could be good. Like, I didn't play the first. I heard it was mechanically good. Just it looks like Doom yeah. and how it shoots guns. So I'm, I'm totally board. okay I'm with board. that. Yeah. You want to uh, inject Borderlands into my Doom? Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. I also, totally do if it's that. bad, they're still making another Doom. Yeah. So we, they got two shots. <laughs> A double barrel is saying yeah. a, sup a super shotgun of games. Yeah. <laughs> One in each barrel. Uh, Andrew WK. Uh, was I, he I, there? I, yeah, he was there. He like. Oh, yeah, there was a concert. Yeah. yeah. But it was also like a lot of games press stuff who like don't necessarily know or like Andrew WK. So like it was so, it was so low, but like low key response in the event itself. And I felt like bad. It's like, I saw, I saw him live before. Oh. He's cool. Let's ask <laughs> Bryce if he knows who Andrew WK is. Yeah. Like I saw, and I saw. He's Andrew really w great at soliciting enthusiasm he too. Is, but even outside of that, like I, I saw a, outside of his band, I saw a show where he just did like piano, and it was yeah. fascinating. He has such unbridled enthusiasm for literally anything yeah. he does. But there is also the conspiracy that Andrew he might w be more than one person. Yes, he might be like a blue man group <laughs> sort of situation. <laughs> he might be Leon Redbone. Okay. Oh, no. Famous Resident Evil <laughs> character. Hit it. Uh, question mark. If this just becomes a, a, like a party music video. That's meaningless to me. <laughs> I mean, well, here's the problem. I mean, here's same. Here's the problem. Get out of here, Bryce. Yeah. Question. I find it weird that they have such a complete keyboard for this. Like, that they have, like, semicolons. Oh, well, this is such. just the Switch's keyboard. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's clearly it's just, just like part the of the Switch interface. interface. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 It's like if like a lot of software like on Android, if you enter text, it's like it's going to be the same the keyboard same thing. across the board because yeah. it's just the, the OS level text input. Yeah. You mentioned dating. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. I feel like this is going so much nowhere. Maybe we should switch to Splatoon. We can. Just I'm like totally <laughs> okay with this. So that's the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. It's out on a variety I'm of things. I'm sure it's more infectious if you spend more time playing it, but mm -hmm. like this kind of talking about E3 while we're looking at like just these dudes talking and it's like, no, it, it gets Lovecraftian. It's uh, just, it's when? just su it is literally it sucking the air out of the room. Yeah. But the slow, I mean, the slow dread. The slow burn. Yeah. Slow yeah. burn. Yeah. Which is cool. It just doesn't translate into a, spree, into a stream that well. Well, well I guess we need something that's sort of half. Anyway, let's wrap picture. this up yeah. with some Splatoon, sure. shall we? Also, Metal Wolf Chaos announced. I'm excited about that. Metal Wolf Chaos. Yes. 
Oh, is that the the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance follow up stuff? No, no, that's no. the presence in a mech suit from. Uh, and yes. he's got to take America back from the evil vice president. It is the oh. Xbox game that was only released in Japan by From Software, and huh. Devolver Digital is porting it to current generation in the U.S. Cool, which is great because one, the voice acting is amazing. Two, you play the president in a mech suit, and three, if you've tried to get a copy of the game, it's like three hundred fifty bucks. Whoa. So like, Calm yeah, down. I'm happy to get it. Calm down. So yeah, yeah, remastered on current consoles, PC, but they've kept important. Crucially, they've kept the original voice, the original yeah. English voice track. It's time to party, Richard. <laughs> oh my God, we're here, guys. Splatoon, Eatonopolis. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this. And it's Biggie and Tupac. Yes. Yeah. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. No, you can't. This can. is even it. This is even before they're wearing the outfit. Yeah, this yeah. is not, yeah. This yeah. is prior This is prior to the outfit. I haven't picked up Splatoon 2 in like half a year, and like I should get back into it now. The Oculus expansion's out, which is yeah. why we're showing it now. Yeah. Yeah, although, yeah, I probably have much time can to actually you, explain yeah, it. But. Yeah, well. I just show what they what what's you can the, look like as yeah. an Yeah. I kind of wish you could just skip through this thing when you start up the game. It's like kind yeah. of annoying. What is the? Yeah, what is like the deal? Yeah, what is the deal? Because it's well, like it's always changing. It's always like changing, live. right? This yeah. is kind of Nintendo's attempt at making like a live playlist sort of stuff. Like, yeah, like this is Nintendo's closest attempt to like a curated, game as service yeah, kind of curated yeah. playlist sort of stuff. Gosh, and a shared great. space shooter. Oh wow! And it is like not free to play. It's a retail game, but it's like free to keep playing and like. The only DLC so far is just the Octoling expansion, twenty bucks. So God. it's solid <laughs> I love and it. a good like I love value proposition. I I mean, if if for nothing else, I have always loved Splatoon for the aesthetic. Oh yeah, so, the lore is it's all great. The lore, yeah. the aesthetic is so great in this game. I, it's the world ends with you meets de Blob. No. I, 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 it's like the world ends with you meets like SpongeBob SquarePants. Whoa, huge, meets huge let it frame, die. Yeah. Huge, huge frame rate shift here. Yeah, because the, the Inkopolis stuff is all 30 frames. That's, oh, okay, but now we're, yeah, we're easily 60 frames right now. Yeah. And look at this trilobite-looking mofo right here. Yeah, so this is the hub for all this business. Nice, I'm, I'm got some to barnacles back. hanging out in I'm here. Trying to get the promised land. Sweet, sweet, so sweet. So what can you tell us about Octolings? They are the uh, the enemies of the Inklings. They, Whoa! They're, they're, oh, my God. <laughs> Iso Padre here. Uh, they, they sea fight. Cucumber! Uh, you know the the, the 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 fights represent the turf the the, the sport that Splatoon is is a sort of like uh, representation of the fight over the dwindling the dwindling land in this like post apocalyptic hellscape between octopus and <laughs> between the deep lore of Splatoon. Yeah, I love it's it. It's like the Gundam fight in G Gundam. Yeah. Oh, wow. So my character is an octopus. Or Zoid fighting. But because of the events of Splatoon one. Um, Inkling, like music was etched into my soul, so I'm good now. But I lost all my memories. Mm. What? So I'm doing these like sort of portal sort of test chambers to get to the surface. <laughs> We're gonna liberate the rest of the Octolings through the power of rock and roll. Basically, oh, yeah. Wow, They're I really actually more, love this. Like, yeah. So these are some some. Uh, this is so weird. There's all this these, these chat <laughs> logs here. Oh, wow. I always appreciate when you can pull up like a uh, menu that shows your character using a controller and they are manipulating the controller the same way that you are in the real world. Yeah, I'm unlocking these memories as I go uh, along. Vis-a-vis -vis the, uh, what is it, the the weird, um, the Walkman thing from, uh, from uh, MGS5. MGS5. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, I, the iDroid. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Or how in um, MGS4 you could legit manipulate an iPod using yeah. the analog that sticks. Great. That was very on point. I, gosh. Every time I pretend to hate Mem Kojima. Cakes. So yeah, so the way the level is presented as, as different stops on these as subway, a subway. lines. Yeah. I like that. I, think I like the... All games need that aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, you mean, uh, what is it, popular game Mark Echo's getting up contents under pressure? Was it enough for you? That's, one of, that's on our list of top anti-fascist video games yeah. of all time. <laughs> yeah, if there's a game, like... You mean Western Jet Set Radio? Yes, yes, essentially. I mean, it sucks that he, I mean, that was a game before its time, oh, in my yeah. opinion. It, if it, he could have waited yeah. for, like, this, mm -hmm. for Switch or I mean, something like that. Let's just look like at that. this logo, the Octo Expansion. The so it's purely so 80s good. vaporwave love it. look. Love it. What I don't love about this is the way it has this, like, currency system. Mm -hmm. So as I'm uh, playing more levels... Just this or Splatoon in general? Just this. Okay. So you see up there, I got 13,000 whatever 
on your metro point, card. Metro yeah. card. So yes. I have to like I have to pay those to do new levels. To but unlock new levels or to like replay levels? To, re to unlock and to replay them. No, well, I hate um, it. I and, hate it. And like you get, when you complete them, you get more and you get way more than it costs. But I don't even like. What if you bought them out though? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like even having that tension. Yeah, that's the pr that's yeah. a problem. I can't I can't deal with that. And, there, and there's stuff like, oh, if you use a different weapon, you hey, make swipe, it more. Hey, swipe me in, bro. Yeah. Swipe me in. Oh, I do I I do like seeing seeing this um as seeing Splatoon uh, presented as sort of like a puzzle platformer and a shooter. Oh, so I have a limited amount of ink? Yeah. Whoa. So these are also like really like, these are like challenge These are actually really <laughs> yeah. tough, guys. So I might be bone here. <laughs> That's a floating Super Nintendo. What? It's oh, yeah, yeah. A, a, floating, a floating, a Famicom? A Super no, Famicom. That's yeah. a Super, fam no, a that super is Famicom. A There's a, um, a <laughs> floating GameCubes in one level, too. Okay, so I have to be really careful with ink here. Shoot, Ugh. you can't, you can't I, juice up more. How do you, you, you generally? Can you, zo can you zoom in and look at what those game cartridges are? Um, I don't know how to zoom. There's in too much. There's here. too much glare. Also, okay. it, are you in your mind palace? I. Mm. Oh, glob. Oh my god. Thanks, Marina. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I, just, so yeah, I shouldn't even bother like hitting that. No. Yeah. Oh man. So boned. This is it. This seems cool. Like, yeah, I dig it. I mean, yeah, this is definitely a um, this is definitely a challenge, and I can see what you're getting at with like the portal stuff. But the thing is, with oh his, my god, oh, no, yeah. oh no, yeah. I hate him. I hate him. Oh, uh, what is it? The uh, the thing the thing is with portal though. It's like it never places limitations on you in regards exactly. to like in regards to either yeah. like time or ammunition mm -hmm. yep. or even really like yeah. health for that matter. And I hate yeah. And it, it's like in, or in that lives way, or no lives, no lives yeah. or I, anything like that. Yeah. So it's it's encouraging experimentation and totally. success and learning through failure, yeah. learning through experimentation and, and failure, like trial and error sort of thing. Yeah, and the, but the, in the, this, the it's stuff just here like, is, is oh bad. my god, I'm just trying to be as careful as humanly possible because I not only have a limited amount of ammunition, but a limited amount of lives, and those are tied to this currency that yeah. you said is also limited. So that's really fun. And this is just one of the uh, challenges. So like, there are other challenges you can do. Yeah, and you know, if you fail too much, you can just skip it, which costs money, but uh. like you can, you can progress that uh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Pearl saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> this guy is a jerk, I hate him. <laughs> Yeah, so. Go. Oh, I'm just boned here. Go, go, no. So, yeah, go it would away. cost me money to restart. And again, 200 out of my 13,000 is not uh, like impossible. You get a bunch, but it adds to the stress. Yeah. All right. Jordan, but this, yeah. Is for, this is for people who play the last Splatoon already. They want this hardcore challenge stuff. It's a very, you know, for DLC, that's a common kind of thing. Yeah. Because remind me, like, Splatoon is essentially a multiplayer game at its yeah, core, yeah. right? Th yeah. So it's like, yeah, if you are looking for something to challenge you in a single player sort of environment, I guess this is really what you're going to get. Yeah. Like, because all the single player stuff, I'm presuming that there's. It's like, very short. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a, it's, training, right? It's like. It's the campaign that would be in a multiplayer shooter. It's like Titanfall yeah, like 2. An or un, a, like an. Un, it, it, watch yourself. It's really good. Watch yourself. <laughs> I think the creativity is on a similar level. Oh, really? Yeah. That good, huh? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I was going to say, like, oh, maybe, like, you know, the training mode in, like, Quake 3 Arena or, like, <laughs> Unreal Tournament or something like that, yeah. you know? Because that's real bare bones sort of stuff. Does Question. playing through this unlock anything? For, like, multiplayer? Yeah. Cool. So if you finish all of these challenges, what are you getting? Are you getting anything for the wider game? Yeah, like multiplayer unlocks and stuff, and perks and business. Yeah, yeah. Well, just for playing new levels. Spicy too. surprises you don't want to yeah. spoil us. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't want to be here though. Yeah, I get back to the train. So, but you know, the with, with, with at least with the sort of the train map stuff, you can. There's always, you always have a lot of levels you can do at any given moment. Yep. Um, you're not like, and like that, it, that like is the, good that it's yeah. non-linear in that regard, so it, it, you don't always you don't have this like roadblock in front of you. Yeah. So also, that's like good. The, unlike the, in the original uh, like single player campaign, you don't need to hunt for those invisible spouts all over a map, and it's like I hated that part. Oh yeah, the actual levels. Yeah. Now, okay, so you're getting you're getting rewards based on which. Uh, 
which weapon you choose. Yeah. Okay, so when you complete these, it, are all of the rewards isolated to the Octo expansion, or are you unlocking stuff for the you're quote unlock unquote main game? Yeah, as you're, well? you're unlocking like new gear and stuff for the main oh, game. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so there is that. That's worthwhile. Yeah. Sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Gosh. Yeah, I really. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, the oh, just the fact that Splatoon's aesthetic is fantastic. I, yeah, just every time I look at this game, it's just like, oh wow, I love the, I always love the, like, the neon color palettes and, like, the clashing colors and, and stuff like that. This definitely seems, uh, some good challenging stuff. Oh wow. I still am annoyed that it's called ink and not like paint because it's it's paint. It's paint. But they're squids. It's ink. It's I know. Squids. Squids. Come on, Come on. Still, squids. Like... Uh, yeah. As as annoyed as I sometimes get, at, or as annoyed as I sometimes feel in regards to like challenge stuff like this feeling like filler, I sometimes wish that more games included that. Yeah. Like I think a game that implemented challenge map stuff really well was Doom. Oh yeah. Because it was like every time you completed that you were getting perks that made that that uh you know th that exacerbated the skills that you were trying to learn by doing that particular challenge. So yeah. I died once and all my progress is reset, so I gotta do the whole thing again. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Great. Well, get good. Get, get good, Jordan. Um, you need skills. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying to recall what get good game I was playing recently. Not a, not a Souls, but... Jeez. Don't be a suck -doling. No. <laughs> Boo! But yeah, E3 was fun. And E3 was fun. Um, That's it. It's cool. Great. Wonderful. Yep. E3. Three E's. Three chairs. Three captains. Uh, yeah. So how much, time, how much time we got here, man? I think five more minutes. Five more minutes? Yeah. It's okay, get cool. I can talk about I can talk about anything for five more minutes. I didn't see much of it besides I didn't just see much of it. stuff they showed. I mean, I'm excited about it just because I'm a constant apologist for you know, shared space shooters. That's for, fine. I mean, I find them fun shoot, when I do them. For loot and shoot stuff, I'm totally okay with that. Um, it's definitely up my alley, and yeah, Bioware's, uh, Bioware's been doing some okay stuff in the realm of, like, third-person mm. shootery stuff lately, and, uh, if they just build on the combat that they had from Mass Effect and Andromeda, rest in peace, That'd be like, good. Yeah. I could totally get on board with that, but, like you were saying, it's like, anytime they focus, anytime Bioware tends to focus on stuff that isn't narrative, it really you can honestly tell yeah. it's very apparent when they do that because it just detracts from the narrative experience as a whole yeah. which in my mind it's like i've always enjoyed bioware games for their narrative not yeah. necessarily like for the combat onward it's just been yeah going but downhill but unfortunately they're also kind of a victim to this genre EA. that they're to ea <laughs> and to this genre that they're that they're uh, implementing because, yeah. yeah, they have stated that there are going to be dialogue choices. You will have a voice character, apparently. Uh, and but is it going to do anything, or is it going to feel like? Yeah, Destiny? how? Yeah, how empty will it feel? Yeah. You know how? Yeah, how dumb is that? Really? How? How much do those choices really, really matter in the long term? Speaking of loot shooters, uh, I'm surprised we didn't hear anything but Borders Borderlands Three. Yeah, I mean, I was quick to. I mean. It, the 2K guy, what's his name? The guy, or the Gearbox guy. Oh, Randy, Randy Pitchford. Pitchford. Yeah, Randy yeah. Pitchford. It, he was Famous quick magician. To, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give you the old switcheroo there. But he say Imagine Inkopolis. Yeah, that's how you get back. Uh -huh. Yeah, because your character's trapped in this train, so that's how you get back. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, I'm imagining my desk right now. They are publishing that We Happy Few game. So yep. Gearbox. Oh, okay. So that's what they're more focused on. So right I guess that's what they're into right now. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Made by the developers that just got pop, but got bought by Microsoft. Right? Yeah, composing mm, games. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, I'm excited for Borderlands Three whenever they decide to show that. But every time he says there isn't going to be Borderlands Three, everyone just kind of doubles down on their yeah. bets that it'll show up. This is my hot octopus shirt. I love it. One of my unlocks. It's a good shirt. Love it. Yeah. 
Uh, for more uh, hot shirt tent, definitely visit uh, geek.com. Yeah, every Tuesday. To, oh, to, yeah. Uh, <laughs> to, <laughs> oh, also. To, uh, <laughs> to, look into our, to look into our review for uh, shirts as a service from Jackbox's TKO. Yeah. Uh, please visit geek.com where we review that as a service. Yeah. Also, just every Tuesday, there's the best t shirts. T shirt Tuesday. T shirt Tuesday. K Thor Jensen. I do love your, I do like your boots. Yeah. I do like your spacey, so spacey huge. boots. Yeah, what are the parts that we have? Oh, hold on. You get a set bonus there, man? Uh, maybe if I... I don't have all... Because I haven't unlocked the full Oculus uh, yeah. set. I just, oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh, wait. I was joking. Oh, no, but yeah. Like, for real. <laughs> yeah. I love that there are Cream brands. Basics. That's great. <laughs> Cream Basic. It me. Yeah. Um, these, Cuddle these Gear. Shoes. I love that there, there are uh, brands associated with these uh, various mm -hmm. pieces of apparel. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, so Will, any more E3 stuff you want to throw out there? I think we've been pretty good here. Not right now. Just, it was a okay. show. All right, well, yeah. We well, got looking forward to the stuff we saw. So. Yeah, lots of stuff to get excited about in the next six to eight months, uh, yep. speaking realistically. Um, I mean, there's some stuff coming out in uh, September, but a lot of the, a lot like of the big name stuff isn't is coming out until 2019. Yeah, like Q1 2019. They're like, yep. yeah. Yeah, Q1 earliest, earliest we're seeing some of this AAA stuff is, yeah, first quarter of oh, yeah. next year. So Everyone's um, just afraid of Red Dead. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Fear the fear the Red Dead. Fear the revolver. Yeah. Um, fear the redemption. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, so yeah, we have lots of coverage on Geek.com, mm -hmm. uh, PC Mag Two. Um, we'll be back next week with Mario Tennis Aces because we can actually show that off next yeah. week. Yeah. Cool. 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 Um, so yeah, they're just kind of just a, you know. Can't wait. It's just, this is sort of like um, what's the uh, decompress sort Pretty of stream. Much, yeah. Like well, again, yeah. the fact that you're Take back. It easy. <laughs> it's great. Taking it um, easy, chilling. But yeah, we'll be back with that. So uh, all right. So thank you for joining okay. us, right? Yeah.